I wonder what we're going to talk about. The most exclusive golf club in town. Strange place for an appointment. Well, well, an old friend. I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer.
porcelain lizards? They look new, out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. The pain's coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. Where are you, Sean? Still feeling weak. I can hardly stand. 9711 Marble Street. It's the right place, but what am I supposed to do in this dump? A GPS on the table. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Four minutes left.
You have three minutes and thirty seconds left. I did what I had to, Sean. I love you. I love you. <laughs> the pain! My finger! My finger! That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my We've got to get out of here fast. The cops are going to break in any second. No point in trying to get upstairs. Dead end on the roof. We'd be trapped. He looks bad. What happened? Come on. Think of something. 
Think of something fast. A solution. There's got to be a solution. I've got to search the hall. There's got to be another exit. They're still out there. We've got to find another way. Shit! It's too high. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Come on, let's go this way. Don't move! I'll shoot! Come on! Quick! I can't. Hands in the air! Shit! Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. It's our own. 
only chance. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... Sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own.
Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Flake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer is white, 
aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist, I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. <laughs> 